what is up you guys welcome to my channel today's gonna be a super random rambles video but i've just had some thoughts for the past couple of months and i feel like they've been accumulating over time so i just wanted to sit down and talk about them it's not something that i usually do on my channel but i don't know there was something that definitely triggered me <laughs> today on social media and this video is probably going to ruffle some feathers it's probably going to be full of unpopular opinions but I just wanted to share some thoughts. This is not a factual video where I'm here to state like apples are fruit. I'm just literally here sharing my own thoughts and opinions. And I'm always open to having a discussion down below in the comments. But I am at a point where, and I feel like a lot of people are at a point where they're kind of over influencer culture. And I know that seems ironic coming from me because most people would label me an influencer. I am on social media, I make content, things that I say or do can influence people out there. I have a very small social media presence and also a smaller scope of influence compared to a lot of other influencers out there. But nonetheless, I am what most people will consider an influencer. But before I get into that, I did want to say that I do think paid sponsorships are legitimate. Like I know a lot of people will say like, oh, I don't think that you should be paid for this like it's not a real job blah 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 no i do think it's a real job so this is where i'm coming from when you watch a commercial on television that is a paid commercial we don't know those people it's like joe schmo and Catherine. we have no idea who they are or like um jake from state farm i still remember that commercial it's a hilarious commercial we don't know jake from state farm we don't know his first name we don't know him on a first name basis we don't know his wife we don't know his kids well his TV wife but we don't know him on a personal level he is literally a paid actor for a State Farm commercial we know nothing about him now enter the era of influencers you now have influencers who have spent time building a community of people people that trust their opinion hopefully it takes time and effort to build these communities like trust doesn't happen overnight yeah for some people nowadays you know sometimes it's like a quick rise to fame and you blow up and people will buy anything that you recommend but for the most of us it's a slow rise up to build that community whether it's small medium big large whatever size to build a community of people that you connect with that are kind of on the same like the same thought process, all of that, that kind of relate to you, that that trust you, that trust your opinion, that if you recommend a product, they trust that it's gonna be a good product, it's gonna work for them, and their hard-earned money is gonna be well spent. They don't buy it because they see a commercial in a magazine, they buy it because they there's a personal relationship going on. So it's a completely different scope now when it comes to advertising. And I do think, while it may seem like, oh, that's not real work, she's just recommending a product and she's getting paid for it, it might seem like it's you're not really doing much, but there is so much more to it. Like there's been a deep level of trust that's been built. There is effort that goes into the actual work of um, doing the video to promote the product, whatever. So I don't have an issue with that. I fully support that and I do think that influencers, content creators, whatever you want to call yourself, I do think that it is fair that they be paid for their scope of influence for recommending certain products. I do feel that influencers should promote products that they truly believe and care about. Is that always the case? Not necessarily, but that's not, that's not what I'm here to talk about. That's not my issue. My issue is, and I kept seeing this over and over and over again, and maybe some of you can relate, and I feel like this is why I'm kind of at a place where I'm almost over influencer culture because it's just gotten so sneaky. There are a few things that I have seen happening, and granted, I'm not perfect. I might have fallen into this myself because sometimes you just get you know, pulled into this and you think this is how things are done, so that's how you do it. And I'm not excusing any of my behavior. You might see a video of mine and think like, oh, well, remember that video from when you did whatever? Like, you did the exact same thing. Like, forgive me. I'm not perfect. I'm trying to do the best that I can, especially going forward. But I'm just going to talk about some things that I have seen that I think are a little unfair and I have an issue with. And this might ruffle some feathers, might be an unpopular opinion, but honestly, I don't care. 
So we're seeing a lot of sponsorships happen now on Instagram stories and Instagram stories disappear. They're not permanent. They're not there to reference to unless you were to screenshot it or uh, do like a screen recording or something. And I do think it's a legitimate means of advertising because I most of my time that I spend on Instagram is swiping through stories. This is where I see a lot of the quote unquote issues that I have beef with. I will see an advertisement for a product. A lot of times it's hard to say like if you see a product and people will be like oh this is an ad and you didn't say it's an ad sometimes it's not an ad sometimes the person just likes a product and they're talking about it just because somebody's talking about something does not mean it's an ad my issue is when it is an ad and they will say like let's say for example seed i see a lot of seed stuff and i actually bought seed for myself and i want to do a video on that in the future my thoughts on that but I'll see like seed partner hashtag seed partner and it's in like the tiniest smallest letters and they make it a color that you can't even see it and then they'll put it over their username in the corner so you can't see it so technically they disclosed but you can't see it like it's very hard to find it's not obvious it's illegal to do that it has to be obvious the consumer of your content has to know that this is a paid ad I think it's one thing if you're gifted something you say hey this was given to me blah 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 or if you have no obligation to post a lot of times that does happen I've had a lot of cases like that where I have no obligation to post whatsoever but I'll only talk about it if I like it and I will mention hey this was gifted to me or hey this is a paid collaboration I am being paid so I have an issue when it's like super sneaky and people are trying to hide it. it's like why are you trying to hide it like you can see it but why are you trying to hide it and then my second issue is when they come out with like this elaborate story which i guess is part of story making and i can understand that you have to get creative when you're trying to promote a product but what i have issue with again this is just personal all of this is just completely personal you might not agree with any of it and that's fine my personal issue is is when there's like this elaborate story of why you're using this product and trying to sell it to other people People follow influencers, like I said, because they trust you. So more than likely, a product that you recommend to them, they're probably going to love because they love you. They trust you. They have kind of built a, this is my kids, they have kind of built a relationship with you. So I feel like there's no need to come up with this story. Like for example, my battery died. Clearly I'm talking way too much, but as I was saying, more than likely, the people that follow you follow you because they love your content they trust you they feel like they have a relationship with you so whatever it is that you talk about they will probably love as well because they're following you for a reason so there's no reason to make these crazy elaborate over exaggerated claims about a product that might not be true that's where my issue is why are we making these over exaggerated claims about a product just to get that coin like I understand you need to get your coin and you need to get paid and I think you have a right to get paid, but be honest. Like there's no reason to say, here's an example. There's a popular supplement brand out there and I was watching somebody talk about it. Every post about the supplement is always how it's great for um, health, immunity, all of that, which it is. It's a great supplement, probably one of the best out there when it comes to this specific supplement that you're looking for. But the claim was made that they got sick while they were away from home. And the reason that they think they got sick is because they didn't take the supplement with them. Maybe, maybe that is the case. Maybe that's why I got sick. But it could also be because everybody around you was sick. And you said that. And that's probably why you got sick. I understand there are some instances where if you're constantly taking vitamin C, elderberry, whatever you know your health might be in better shape you're taking care of your diet but it's nothing is ever a magic pill so let's not try to sell it as a magic pill and i constantly see claims with this one supplement in particular from so many different different influencers and i feel like that's what gets people to buy it and i understand that's just advertising game but we have to realize as influencers we are not television commercials. The people that follow us, follow us for a reason. You built this community. You have built this community of trust. These people trust you. So there's no reason to be making over exaggerated claims. Maybe they're true. Maybe they're not. And this was just one example. Probably wasn't the best example. 
but I just keep seeing these sponsorships come up, paid sponsorships, and I can clearly see that they're paid because it's in like those teensy weensy tiny little letters that they don't want anybody to see, which I will never understand. First of all, FTC said it is not enough to say that you are a partner like when I say Ana Luisa, um, the jewelry brand, if I ever partner with them, which I do have some paid collaborations, you have to either state this is a paid collaboration or you have to write hashtag ad, not somewhere on the bottom where nobody can see it, not in some tiny little letters where you write Ana Luisa partner. Like it literally has to say paid advertisement, hashtag ad, not like Ana Luisa partner. So can we get a little bit better at disclosing these things to our audiences because I feel like a lot of people are losing trust. They're over this influencer culture. They don't have a lot of money to spend as it is. It is tight out there for a lot of people. And granted, it's your money. You can do with it whatever it is that you want. You, you, were, you worked for it. Maybe you didn't work for it. I don't know how you got it. But it's your money. It's yours to spend. So you can spend it wherever you want. You might not find an issue with this at all. And I know a lot of people won't. But for me, I do because I feel like there's an ethical way to do it and an honest way to do it. And what a lot of what I've been seeing is not it. I guess what I'm trying to say is like instead of saying, like here's an example. Instead of, let's say, a cleaning brand reaches out to me and says, hey, do you want to work on a possible paid collaboration? You try the product. You love it. Um, I go on and I say, hey, you guys, I have been meaning to switch to a cleaner lifestyle. So I bought these cleaning supplies that I'm going to be trying out and I'll let you know guys know how they work and then my next post is a paid collaboration with this brand. A. No I did not buy these products. B. I feel like I would trust what I just said a whole lot more if I flat out said hey you guys I have been meaning to switch to a cleaner lifestyle so this brand reached out to me and asked if I wanted to collaborate so they sent these over this is not a paid collab but I will be doing a paid collab with them in the future I'm gonna try them out and let you guys know how like there are ways to say it again which just brings me back to why are we creating these elaborate over exaggerated almost like lies it literally feels like lies that's probably where my issue is let's stop the smoke and the mirrors. I think that is what people are just kind of done with. Just be honest. You love it. You love it. You're paid for it. Say it. Flat out. That is all. Let me know in the comments what you guys think.